Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. The human spirit drove us to fight where no one had dared to go before. Whether it was the mountains of the Alps or the skies above, we found a way. They said this would be the war to end all wars. But I wonder if there will ever be an end to human ambition and our will to destroy. Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad, take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. Proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first.
All that was left after the flame troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there.
Leon, the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery can remain. So I had to take it down.
should miss you! <laughs> <laughs> safe was to blow up the gun itself. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. Oh, my God. 
Avanti, così! Andiamogli addosso! Abbiamo fatto quello che dovevamo! Andiamo! Non è ancora finita! Vendiamo cara la perda! Andiamo al riparo! the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Mateo's room at Quilomi, so I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. men were killed, our advance would be completely halted, and I would have lost my tail. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh God, Matteo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. I had to find Matteo. He could have been anywhere.
It started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. Before we saw them, armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Sheer force of will, we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe, and I had to move on. You never said, was Matteo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up.
some of the things I saw to Zoro. I had to convince myself I wasn't dead. Like what? Fire. Fire everywhere. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. You had to have made it to the fort. or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. Mateo wasn't there. I 
I still think about that field. Every day. I'd almost stopped looking. Started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped. And then... No! No! He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Thank you.